Hey everyone, welcome to CyberGirl. I'm thrilled to have you here as we continue our journey into the realm of cybersecurity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, there's always something new to learn. Before we dive in, remember that everything on this channel is for educational purposes only. Our goal is to empower you with knowledge so you can defend against cyber threats, not to encourage any illegal activities. Hacking without consent is illegal. Unauthorized access to systems, networks, or data is a serious crime and can lead to severe consequences. Today, we're talking about a scary topic, how hackers can hack your phone without even touching it. This is a growing concern as our phones hold so much personal and sensitive information. That's right, they don't need to steal your phone or trick you into clicking a suspicious link. Hackers can exploit vulnerabilities in the software or the network to gain access remotely. They can do it remotely, using a vulnerability in the global mobile network. This means that your phone could be at risk even if you are careful with your online activities. Intrigued? Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more ethical hacking content like this. We have a lot of exciting topics lined up, from penetration testing to securing your home network. Now, let's get started. To understand how this type of hack works, we need to talk about something called signaling system number seven, or SS7. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. SS7 is like a hidden network that connects all the mobile carriers around the world. It's what allows your phone to make calls, send texts, and use data even when you're traveling. Every time you make a call or send a text, your phone sends signals through the SS7 network to connect you to the other person. Now, here's where things get scary. Hackers can exploit vulnerabilities in the SS7 network to intercept these signals and gain access to your phone without you even knowing. This is called an SS7 attack. Imagine a hacker sitting at their computer, miles away from you. They have your phone number and a special device that lets them connect to the SS7 network. Using this device, they can send commands to your phone through the SS7 network, just like your carrier does. So, what can hackers actually do with an SS7 attack? A lot, unfortunately. SS7, or signaling system number seven, is a set of protocols used by telecom networks to exchange information. It's the backbone of global telecommunications, enabling everything from making phone calls to sending text messages. But this system, designed decades ago, has vulnerabilities that can be exploited by malicious actors. One of the most common uses is eavesdropping on your calls and text messages. Imagine having a private conversation with a loved one or discussing sensitive business information, only to have a hacker listening in. This isn't just a breach of privacy. It can lead to blackmail, corporate espionage, and even identity theft. By intercepting the signals going through the SS7 network, hackers can listen in on your conversations and read your texts in real time, but it gets worse. They can also manipulate your messages, sending false information to your contacts or even impersonating you. This can create chaos in your personal and professional life. Hackers can also use SS7 attacks to track your location. This isn't just about knowing which city you're in. They can pinpoint your exact location, down to the street or even the building you're in. This can be incredibly dangerous, especially for individuals who are trying to stay safe from stalkers or abusive partners. Remember how your phone sends signals through the SS7 network to connect you to the nearest cell tower? This process, meant to ensure you have a strong signal, can be exploited. Hackers can use this information to track your movements over time, building a detailed profile of your daily routines and habits. Hackers can exploit this to pinpoint your location with scary accuracy. They can follow you in real time, knowing exactly where you are at any given moment. This level of surveillance is not just invasive, it's a serious threat to your personal safety and security. The implications of SS7 attacks are far-reaching, affecting not just individuals but also businesses and governments. It's crucial to be aware of these dangers and take steps to protect yourself. Stolen Information How SS7 Attacks Can Empty Your Bank Account Think about all the sensitive information that goes through your phone, your bank details, your passwords, your personal conversations. Now, imagine all of that falling into the wrong hands. That's the real danger of SS7 attacks. Hackers can use the information they gather to steal your identity, drain your bank account, or even blackmail you. And because SS7 attacks are so difficult to detect, 
you might not even realize you've been hacked until it's too late. Real-world examples of SS7 attacks. Don't think for a second that SS7 attacks are just a theoretical threat. They've been used in the real world with devastating consequences. In 2016, hackers used an SS7 attack to steal $1 million from a bank in the UK. In another case, a German politician's phone was targeted with an SS7 attack, allowing hackers to listen in on his conversations and access his private data. These are just a few examples of the very real threat that SS7 attacks pose. Protecting yourself. Tips to stay safe from SS7 attacks. In today's digital age, our smartphones are more than just communication devices. They are our wallets, our personal assistants, and our gateways to the online world. This makes them prime targets for cyber criminals. So, what can you do to protect yourself from this invisible threat? SS7 attacks are particularly insidious because they exploit vulnerabilities in the global telecommunications network, making them difficult to detect and prevent. However, there are several proactive measures you can take to safeguard your personal information. While there's no foolproof solution, there are steps you can take to minimize your risk. Start by being vigilant about your digital hygiene. Regularly update your phone's software to ensure you have the latest security patches. This simple step can close off many potential entry points for hackers. First, be careful about who you give your phone number to. Your phone number is a key piece of information that can be used to track your location, intercept your calls, and access your accounts. Only share it with trusted contacts and avoid posting it publicly on social media or other platforms. Avoid sharing it publicly or on unsecured websites. Be cautious of phishing scams and suspicious links that may ask for your phone number or other personal information. Always verify the legitimacy of a website before entering any sensitive data. Second, use strong, unique passwords for all your accounts. A strong password is your first line of defense against unauthorized access. Consider using a password manager to generate and store complex passwords, making it easier to maintain good security practices, especially your banking and email accounts. These accounts often contain sensitive information and are prime targets for hackers. Enable two-factor authentication, 2FA, wherever possible to add an extra layer of security. This means that even if someone gets hold of your password, they would still need a second form of verification to access your account. This won't prevent an SS7 attack, but it will make it harder for hackers to access your accounts if they do manage to intercept your data. Stay informed about the latest security threats and best practices. By taking these precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk and protect your personal information from cyber criminals. The future of mobile security. Beyond SS7. The good news is that the telecommunications industry is aware of the SS7 vulnerability and is working on solutions to secure the network. Newer protocols like Diameter are being implemented to replace SS7 and offer better security. However, it's a slow process and SS7 is likely to be around for a while. That's why it's crucial to stay informed about the risks and take steps to protect yourself. Stay informed, stay safe. Join the Cyber Girl community. That's it for today's video. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to cybersecurity. The more you know about the threats out there, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to Cyber Girl for more ethical hacking content and tips on staying safe online. And if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment below. Stay safe out there.